Let's just shuffle. Let's just shuffle. Skip, 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 That used to be me. Now, I'm on the mission to create the perfect shuffle, where every song in the library is less than 50% skippable. What's up? I'm Trent Windsor. We're here in search of the perfect shuffle. It's time for another segment of Clearing Out the Archives, where I shuffle my music and whichever album comes up, as the album I review song by song. Like months ago, I shuffled my music. Uh, yeah. And uh, the album that came up was 1000 Gex by 100 Gex. And 1000 Gex is the first album by 100 Gex. What does 100 Gex sound like? What are Gex? Your guess is as good as anybody else's. I don't think uh, anybody really knows for sure. What does 100 Gex sound like, though? That's something that I can talk about. Something I've, I've heard their music a couple times. Here's the thing about 100 Gex. They sound uh, like maybe you shouldn't like it. They make music that doesn't seem highly skilled. It doesn't seem like it should be interesting or quote-unquote good. But it's so freaking weird and it's so crazy catchy that you can't help but be charmed by these guys. I think um, maybe if you're old, you won't like it. So uh, if you want to prove you're not old, you're going to do 100 Gex, okay? Teach your grandkids about it, they'll be like, wow, my grandfather, young guy. <laughs> it's a lot of really glitchy stuff, really just over the top, wild synths, guitars. We got ska, we got new metal, we got uh, freaking electronic stuff that you've never heard anything like before. Unless you were already into like PC music and Sophie, then, then maybe you've heard something like this, but uh, it's pretty niche, it's pretty unique. But it's the most mainstream version of this niche, unique genre, which uh, I think is labeled hyperpop. I don't even know if 100 Gex is considered pure hyperpop. But genres are not real, and gatekeepers are stupid. Most of this album is really great. I think you just gotta... Don't think about it, okay? Don't think too hard about it. Just listen and feel, and let your inhibitions go away, okay? Stop thinking about how cool you are. Stop being pretentious and just kind of enjoy something fun for once, okay? And I think you're gonna love this album. Here's a ranking of skippability for every song on this album. My favorite is probably Money Machine. I know, that's that's the big one, that's the popular one, whatever. It's okay, it's popular for a reason, but here's the thing. You've got just classics like Money Machine, Rain Town, Stupid Horse, songs I love. Uh, and then you have this uh, weird, weird, weirdness. And sometimes the weirdness really pays off for me. Sometimes it's just weird and, it, you know, they're having fun. Uh, the song, I Need Help Immediately, I'm not counting that one as a song because it just is mostly like what me and my siblings would do when we were changing the tone on, a, on our electric keyboard at home and just playing random crap. So, mathematically speaking, adding everything up, this album as a whole, for me, is only 28% skippable. Pretty dang solid score, puts it right up there with the greats. I don't care if you think I'm right or not, but I do want to hear it in the comments. Okay, so, uh, in the description below, I'm gonna leave links to music videos, and I'm gonna leave links to my other crap that I do, but I want you to go ahead and put in the comments what you think about 100 Gex, what you think about 1000 Gex, which is the name of the album. I believe that all musical opinions are valid, and I would love to hear yours, even if I disagree. If we weren't allowed to disagree, what would we be doing here, right? So anyways, I'm Trent Windsor. This is The Perfect Shuffle.